It was a tough shooting night for the Eastern Eagles as they fell to the South Gallia Rebels 57-36 Tuesday night. What's up, Harwood fans? I'm your online host, Thomas Garvick, and with me is Eastern League reporter Nate Moore. And Nate, it was a season low in points for Eastern tonight. It definitely was an offensive struggle for the Eastern Eagles tonight. Low ball movement, couldn't get anything going down in the post for Caleb, for, for Caleb Hill and Garrett Beringer. They were a big factor in last week's win against Waterford. Just couldn't get anything going tonight on that side of the ball. Now for the Rebels offensively, they had a lot of nice ball movement that led to easy looks in the paint all night long. Braxton Hardy for the Gallia Rebels was amazing tonight. 23 points, had a couple of rebounds as well. He was taking control of the game and taking control of the pace of it as well. Also, guards were hitting their shots. So Oats opened up low post offense. Closer you are to the basket, closer that shot's going to be to make it in. All right, Nate, so Eastern, they play Miller on Friday. What do they need to do to get back in the win column? Well, like I said earlier, you got to get the ball down low if you're Eastern. I'm Caleb Hill, Gary Berger, those two guys and Isaiah Fish, those three forwards have to step up on that offensive side of the ball. If they, those three can get going, Eastern's going to have a long, long night. The takeaways from tonight's game for Friday, Eastern, they need to work the ball in the paint in South Gallia, a solid win for them tonight. For all of our online content, go ahead and log on to woub.org slash heroes. And while you're at it, because I always know you're on your phones, go ahead and follow us on Twitter, add us on Snapchat, and like us on Facebook for all things Harwood. I'm your online host, Thomas Garvick, and he's Eastern League reporter Nate Moore, and reminding you to be heroic.